Where golf superstar Tiger Woods crashed has drawn people from all over. I came out on a bike ride and just decided to come up Hawthorne and see the site, give tribute to Tiger, one of our American legends. I used to drive up this hill every day to work, so I just wanted to see where it was. It was Hawthorne Boulevard near Black Horse Road, a very problematic street. If you're not familiar with the area, it's, um, it's quite dangerous to go downhill. But um, yeah, if you're familiar in this area, like people drive carefully. The stretch of Hawthorne Boulevard curves downhill, and at 45 miles per hour, the speed limit, you can see how quickly you can accelerate and how easily things can go wrong. Since January of last year, the LA County Sheriff's Department says this stretch of road has had 13 accidents, four with injuries, including Tiger Woods crash. And here he was, you know, visiting us here in Southern California. He was in my district. Uh, on that stretch of roadway, and now the thing that he's in at the Harbor UCLA Hospital, I feel terrible. But the more that we heard from uh, different people who said, "Oh yeah, you know, this is a stretch of highway that could be uh, deemed, you know, uh, dangerous," I wanted to make sure that we looked at it again and saw if there was something that we could do to make it safe for all motorists. LA County Supervisor Janice Hahn is very familiar with this road shared between two cities, Rancho Palos Verdes and Rolling Hills Estates. So I just have suggested to uh, our Department of Public Works that we do a safety review of this stretch of highway and work with both cities and offer them our technical uh, assistance and engineering expertise and see if we might come up with some traffic calming measures uh, to make this uh, road safer for, for everybody. Public Works may decide to put in a digital radar sign, flashing lights, or better signage. Supervisor Hahn says she'll leave it to the experts. Reporting live, I'm Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. Haley Win